my guests as usually Paul Colligan, Shivananda Yoga teacher from New York, Brooklyn. So hi, Paul. Hi, hi everybody. So, okay, today we actually continue our uh, practical and I, I believe in interesting discussions on meditation, yoga, and because you teach people Shivananda Yoga tradition, I myself teach Kriya Yoga meditation tradition. So we have a lot of um, interesting and practical questions regarding self-development, um, meditation, yoga, etc. And we discuss it from both points, I mean, like Shivananda tradition and uh, Kriya Yoga, actually two most famous classical approaches to yoga, uh, especially for the Western world. And my question today is about uh, chakras and the chakra system. And it's very interesting that um, what we actually see uh, that um, many people, even, um, uh, even those who are very far from any kind of yoga tradition, basically, okay, modern Westerners uh, know about chakras. That's wonderful and interesting. Even those people who are never like, you know, kind of practice meditation, pranayama, uh, mantras, etc. They basically know that something like chakras do exist somewhere. Nobody knows where and <laughs> what is the meaning. Okay, of course, I'm joking. Can you say something about what does it mean chakras and why it is so important for, I mean, our life and spirituality? Yeah, uh, like you like you already said, uh, even children knows about chakras today. You know, when I when I'm asking my son, he knows he's thirteen. You know, like everybody knows, like chakras, karma. It, it it's it's re it really like goes into the life. The Sanskrit words, like it's it's very popular. And in Shivananda school, and uh, especially. In the uh, in United States also, and, uh, it's uh, very popular to meditate on chakras. Yes, it's very popular. I would say extremely popular. Like almost like sec every second person who comes to yoga, ask him to teach him like to balance the chakras. He doesn't know about it. Like what chakras mean, like you said, like. Uh, teach me to uh, about chakras, to meditate on chakras, but it's a pretty long way before it, you know, like sometimes. So uh, you should uh, learn about it, what chakras, what, what does it mean? So that's, uh, from, uh, from me, it's a, it's a classical explanation uh, in Shivananda school. It's uh, energy centers, uh, so, uh, and consciousness centers. Uh, as well, uh, so it's a pretty complete thing, I would say. It's it's not easy to say in a few words, but uh, it's a seven chakras, seven main chakras, as you know. And uh, usually in Shivananda school, we start to meditate from first chakra, Mordhara chakra. Uh, it's um, um, each chakra has like different location, of course. Uh, like uh, you mentioned before, it's uh, it's very um, not everybody saying that, but very important. It's in the spinal core, in uh, most people doesn't know that they think it's in here or back there or in here, but it's inside of the core, it's in you, in the middle of you. But in here, it's just reflection, just just a reflection. Like you, you can feel it in here, you can feel it in the stomach, you can feel it uh, like near the heart center, you can feel it near the eyes, like third eye, like people say, you can, but, but, it's, but it's not here, it's a feeling, like nerves, like it, you feel it in here. 
uh, that's a very important thing to to understand uh, when you're working with chakra when you okay, make let, let me just yeah. um, um, briefly interrupt you so it means okay uh, we can use uh, sanskrit terminology or we can even just avoid it actually that's, yeah. that's very very important that we have a seven chakras and basically it's um, um okay energy centers in our spine and brain and yeah. the first one in coccyx second in sacrum third in um, lumbar spine then the next is a dorsal spine then cervical region then midbrain and uh, fontanel so actually um okay uh, actually you just you described it just right now as energy centers but let me put the question in such a okay, our, in such a way like can we and actually i know that we can to call it maybe even more informational subtle informational centers what do you think about it because it's a kind of okay when we concentrate on all that chakras basically we may experience feel mm -hmm. visualize vibration energy but behind uh, this um, sensation is actually information about our life. So what can you say about this? Okay, this is energy and informational uh, centers. What can you say about it? Yeah, uh, of course, like, uh, like I said before, uh, I meant consciousness. That's what I meant. Actually, most of our emotion emotions and uh, uh, memory not deep 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 memory like from before from before from me uh, but most especially let's say uh, from your this life the life you live in now yeah so it's, uh, of, of course it's information over there yeah of course, it's it's prana, what we're saying, like it's uh, it's energy, but it's not just that prana. Of of course not. It's it's all together. It's mixed even. So it's uh, it's prana and uh, information. It's a good word, but I would say uh, it's more like uh, information about. Um, uh, not like in a book, in a certain way, how the person feel that uh, it's, um, I would say, um, experience one, that experience information. Okay, just let me give you an example. For example, yeah. at least according to the Kriya Yoga tradition, we say that uh, third chakra, I just take it as example, third chakra, which uh, location of this energy center anyway, it's a lumbar spine. And according to the our system, the information about your material financial success, uh, okay, is exactly there. For example, second chakra, which is sacrum, okay, the location, um, that's a family life relationship. Okay, dorsal spine, it's a creativity. Okay, then, then come down, the coccyx is a health, okay long life etc um, and the uh, cervical region so-called throat chakra is um, um okay leadership ability to work with information and then midbrain is uh, okay like um well uh, this personal spiritual experience well um, um is it so according to your system that if we work with the chakras if we concentrate and meditate on our chakras we may transform uh, okay reality of our life i mean to say uh, that's the kind of practical aspect of meditation because in our previous video we spoke about meditation in in a sense peace just a yeah. peace and that's happiness but now we, we speak more about chakras and okay let us actually discuss the practical part of this because well many people uh, many clever people actually may ask um, not easy question okay we are going to practice 
meditation, chakra meditation. Oh, what the hell? For what? For what? And okay, the one of the simplest, you know, way to explain, okay, you wish to be more creative. Yeah, but you have a, a so-called heart chakra, which is actually the location, the proper one is the dorsal spine. Well, if you meditate there, you can awake your creative potentiality. Okay, if you want to get more money, of course, you have to work better. No question. But at the same time, some mystical support for your financial, whatever, profit, income, is the, the energy center in a lumbar spine. You know, and okay, if you wish... Uh, well, more happy relationship, or maybe you wish to, you know, maybe you're already a family person, then the question is how to uh, to work with, okay, uh, uh, all that conditions of your family life, then, okay, you have to, to do many things to, uh, to, you know, to build connection with your teenager uh, boy, for example, yeah, but Apart from that, if you meditate on the second chakra, sacrum is the location, then you can transform some subtle level of information about your family, relationship, etc. So what is your opinion about this kind of approach? Because when I spoke about okay, informational aspect of the chakras, so my point was exactly what I'm told you right now that the different aspects of our life the information is actually on a very very subtle level is exactly there in the different chakras and basically if we meditate we concentrate on a different chakras we can transform that different aspects and of course of, okay if somebody um, wish to be you know to, to, to express like to perform better as a leader as the team, any kind of office or business team member or work with them, information, just generally, I mean, business information properly. Yeah, you have to learn. Yeah. But at the same time, some kind of mystical support for your leadership, team building, informational ability, in the, okay? That's your meditation on chakra number five, which is so-called throat, Chakra, but actually the, the proper location, the historical region. Okay, can you comment on, on all that? Uh, so uh, I would say a little bit different thing. Uh, in Shivananda school, and I do the same thing. Uh, of course, uh, like you said, um, you can work on chakra and... Uh, you can be much more successful in like in the way you want, like let's say you're painter or or whatever it is. But um, it's very important moment, I think. It's uh, like Shivananda said and my teacher also, and I think the same way. It's better to start working the the, the chakra you need to work on. You know, mm. they all connected. Yeah, uh, you don't have to go as like, like right away to the, the like, let's say to the chakra, you, you want to, uh, to get result from, you know, like you, you don't have to go there, like, like you, it, it's like you uh, punching the door with your, with your hand, you know, like you don't have to do that to go right away in right to the point, you have mm -hmm. to prepare yourself for that. Uh, from my point of view and uh, from point of view of my teacher, um, the Swami, uh, in Shivananda school, it's pretty much also a um, um, basic idea also. Mm -hmm. So uh, you have to work the chakra you need to work, not like you work. So to work on it. I, I...